Okay, so, um, <clears throat> right. Interesting games, I hope you, you think today. It's uh, this idea of the tactical crush and as a complementary tool to a strategic crush. Um, which I haven't really thought about that much, actually. So tactical, as in fast-moving targets, pieces, not pawns. Um, when we talk about strategy, we're talking about the slower um, moving targets. But um, the recent idea of forcing moves, I think, has emphasized something. Not necessarily forcing moves, because forcing moves um, are, are quite often not good at all to play. But they, there was one idea I did mention about emphasizing tactical vulnerabilities. Um, so if there are tactical vulnerabilities like loose pieces, you really want to maybe tactically crush the opponent. So I think the opening and the character of the position obviously is, um, you know, in, in closed positions there's hardly going to be many tactical vulnerabilities. So uh, strategic maneuvering is more called for. Uh, Charlemagne, okay. So let's again try a tactical opening as well. Uh, maybe a Nidorf actually. I mentioned I might try and play a6. So night off. Okay. I'm walking into a, a dragon like attack again with a fairly English attack. Um but do I need to rush um uh, even bishop e seven? What about b five here and bishop b seven? I could be walking into knight b fives. So knight d seven, queen c seven. Well, I'll leave this one, if I leave this one, it goes to e5. So in advance of g5, okay. So knight d7. Uh, maybe b4 or rook c8. Something like rook c8 for knight c4. G6 might be on the cards. So if G6 is on the cards, E6 will be more vulnerable. Mind you, B4 might be on the cards, but hang on, Knight B6, stop Knight A4, then B4, Knight moves, then Bishop E4. Is my king's in the center? I haven't moved the bishop yet. Am I taking too many liberties? But then, you know, in terms of tactical crush, looking at pieces, there's bishop on is pointing at h1 here, so maybe knight b6, b4 is okay. He has played a lot of pawn moves here. Can I also try and get something on the king? You know, g6, bishop g7 later. Knight b6 would support the rook anyway. So for b4, uh, unless he can take here and then take on on c4 with the queen. There's also maybe rook c3, just rook c3, knight c4 for queen a5. Maybe that's the true tactical crush. I like that. I think I'm going to play that. It seems quite solid. I've supported b5 now. I'm supporting queen a5. Um, okay. So maybe now g6, bishop g7. There's bishop d4. So what about a5? That wasn't really okay. That wasn't really what I anticipated. So queen c7 for the moment. So knight b3 looks good actually. Hmm. So g6 or bishop e7. Maybe just bishop e7. Just carry on. Uh, mind you, g6 bishop d4. Okay. So if I just go to castle now. I'll be casting into it, it seems. And go back and um with the knight. Or King D seven. <clears throat> or E five. Um I could go into it, I think. I'll go into it. F6 is potentially really crushing, though. 
So I think something like rook c8 for bishop f8 if f6. So I can take it in g7 and get on this diagonal. Rook c8, uh, I think, is important. So f6, bishop f8. Okay. I don't want to give my king too much on a plate just yet. Uh, e5 might actually be possible. I'm blocking that diagonal that I might want to, uh, to use later. Um, it could be worth it here. Because uh, otherwise I'm going to get isolated pawns. I'm going to get isolated pawns anyway. But um, there's d5 as well. For bishop a3 check. D five Bishop A three or E five and D five okay E five and D five convinces me that maybe this is the way to go. Uh try and put more pressure on E four as well as the side of a Bishop A three check. So E D Bishop D five. Tactical vulnerabilities, tactical crush, Queen D seven, not really that helpful. A five A four this this rook's doing a nice defensive job, and so is the knight, kind of stopping queen a5. Certain annoyances in this position. Bishop a3 is on the cards. Bishop g7 here. Okay, so a5 now, and the bishop's a bit vulnerable, I hope. So where is he going to move that bishop now? So queen d7 is a useful threat to, to bear in mind. Uh, so a4, also the center d takes, e3 and stuff like that. What about just taking on the, in the center? Or a4 first or d takes? Maybe d takes just to extend the bishop for a sec. Introduces e3 as a potential idea. So a4 now, e3 would block c3. Okay, so e3 uh, would extend the scope of the bishop as well. Uh, it was also queen e7 maybe? Queen e7 or queen d7 as mentioned before. I really wanted that knight actually. Um, that's a shame. I'll play this for queen a3. It would have been useful to have that knight, but then he's going to take it. Knight c4, maybe rook c4. Keep, keep the. Um, well, it reinforces e4, but is my king going to get blasted very soon? That's the big problem now. Uh, knight c4, g6 is always maybe bishop h6. Bishop h6, uh, king b1, there's no rook b4 there, you can always use the rook to b3. So in bishop h6, king d1. Um, I don't want to open up my king, so I'm going to take and play h6. Try and keep the king. The line's closed. If the rook ever moves, maybe check and then taking on c3. Okay, so he's got some entry points, which are scary. Get back to the second row here. We'll play a check. We'll e3 for a moment. Just extend the bishop for bishop e4. Let's check. Okay. Uh, Nothing too useful here. <clears throat> I'm tactically vulnerable in the back row now. So as my king, so this isn't good. Maybe rook, if I get the rook over here for rook d8. Okay, rook d8, then queen a3. So the check again is 
probably harmless. Ten seconds to finish me off. Hmm. If I just take him, I can't see the tactical vulnerabilities at all, actually. Oh, there's Rook H7. Okay, so the idea was Rook H7, probably. Uh, got potentially Queen F4, which I'll need very shortly before getting mated. B2. Draw. Oh, I think I'm good here. Um, Draw. Winning plan. A winning plan. Is he going to take that pawn? Nope. Come to C3 then. He's just too short of time. I've got so much more time. 13 seconds. <laughs> no, I was, I was... I don't know. I don't know. I messed that up. Uh, but... Uh, this this C4 was, was actually quite good. Protecting A3 then. I missed the point of that. C4. So there's no Queen A3s. So he stripped my king. Just holding on with my king attacking the rook here. Um, okay, hard game. Uh, but in this position, yep, I'm coming with king d3 into the position. Comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.